Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this vlog, I am gonna be asking my friends um, what do they think about LA. Um, I have prepared the questions. It's about six questions. Um, and then I am going to be talking a little bit like what do I think about it briefly. Hopefully it's gonna be fun. And I hope no one gets offended because it's just... Um, opinions of my friends and me okay let's go let's do it what's up guys my name is adrian i am lasado perez the fourth he is one one of my very first friends when i came into la we went to the same um school which was our acting school um so what happened was we were just going back to another building of our school so we, we just started to talking and right yeah that's right i remember that i remember that day. that day yeah yeah we were like we don't we didn't even talk english at all we just like <laughs> we just I talk in a word by I'm, word you know i'm still learning yeah but um, i'm still learning too so i just know uh, i know him from work but he doesn't work there anymore i quit literally no he quit <laughs> <laughs> he quit i got f-i-r-e-d He's a, this is a good friend of mine. We've been friends for almost five years. Maybe six, six years. Six years, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's six crazy years. how. 2018, 2018, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, six years. I know. It's no, crazy. Six years going to be on September. This September? Oh, uh, can I get an ice white mocha, a sweet cream foam caramel drizzle, please? Can I get a large one and a small one? Sorry, give me just a second. Hello. Hello. Scan the app. Scan the app. <laughs> How do you like it? It's kind of it's kind of nice actually. I told you it's a white girl drink. But don't direct me into coffee, please. Uh, coffee's good. And no, like, it's just Starbucks when you said is Starbucks, I'll, bro. Starbucks is expensive. Why do you think I use my points so I can get free Starbucks? <laughs> Cause look, they did ch they changed their point system, so usually when you get to one fifty, you can get a free drink. Now they said fuck you. New beginnings. I think like a lot of people come here to like uh, chase their dreams. Everybody here, like almost everyone, wants to be in the industry, like movie industry, entertainment, and yeah, that's what he came here for uh, to study films studies and uh, what else can I tell you um, yeah a lot of crazy people <laughs> yeah there's a lot of crazy people the word LA yes Hispanics and Mexican food honestly sounds like a racial thing but it's just every time I watch my movie there was a movie I used to watch about LA it's called blood in blood out like a gangster movie and I thought LA was like that and I that's the one of the reasons I moved out here it's because I can be closer to a tree. Like, it's called El Pino. It's on the east side of L.A. Tall tree. I used to watch that movie like like it was like the Bible. I watched it more than a thousand times. And that's why I moved here. I was like, and I can be closer to El Pino. So I was like, why not? And that's what I think about L.A. It's the palm trees. Um, everywhere is palm trees. And the second thing that comes to mind for me is that Hollywood is Hollywood so I thought it had a lot of like fancy cars because you know celebrities car but not really um, it's just in certain areas you know so yep by the way if you're about to comment about the window why it's dirty don't it's how it was when I when I moved in I tried to clean it multiple times I tried to clean it before I took a video of this um, but nothing worked I tried glass cleaner um, a lot of stuff some stuff I think I need to scrape it um, well yeah I don't know but don't comment about it expensive a uh, very mm -hmm. expensive uh, rent and uh, all the things, all the things are very expensive. I used to live in uh, Pennsylvania, it wasn't like this, it was way cheaper. And uh, 
What else? What else? What else? So that would be the worst thing the worst about thing? LA. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. What about the best thing about LA? Best thing? Ah, I mean, there's a lot of things to explore, a lot of things to um, go and visit. It's the same thing, but whatever. Um, a lot of opportunities, I will say. I mean, it's competitive, but if you put the hard work, there's something out there for you. American dream. Yeah. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. The American dream. That's why I'm here too. American dream. The best is it's always sunny. It's it's not def- today. Not today. Though. Not today. Not today. But like you don't really gotta deal with snow or real, real bad weathers besides like a dang earthquake or something. But that hasn't happened since I've been here. But like the it's better than uh, Michigan's weather. It's always snowing. It's just snowed. It just snowed, and it's March. So uh, you you see what I'm saying? And the worst thing about LA is just, uh, man, uh, every everyone's almost fake. Some people are really fake here. Like you gotta like re- have a good read on people, because if if you don't read them, you're gonna most likely get burnt by somebody. Because a lot of people live live dreams that they can't fulfill. He's being real. <laughs> <laughs> For California watching this, mm-hmm. they're gonna be like. And I have an LA hat on. I don't like LA hat. I think the best thing for me is that um, if you're in Hollywood, basically it's the American dream. Um, you can, there's millions of millions of opportunities for you to, um, for your goals, for your dreams. That traffic, I hate LA traffic. The, the traffic is bad it's like really really bad if you drive and let's say four or five um what else i-10 um 101 basically everywhere every um every highway especially in rush hour damn the maximum speed um could be like um, 10 miles per hour to 20 miles per hour if you're lucky so it's it's bad really bad sometimes it could be um it could be standstill if you live in California especially in LA you know how bad it is <clears throat> I just hope that um, more public transportation would would help to you know with the traffic, adding one more lane doesn't really work because yeah, more people are gonna use um, the highway. If they built um, public transportation, I just hope that it it could be like in Europe or Singapore. Um, I'm not saying that LA doesn't have public transportation. Um, we do, we do have it, but it's just not enough. There, there, um, in just um, certain areas, um, like they're not like in Europe, you know, like where you can find like every, the end of the road or every, um, a few blocks you have underground, like tram or bus or yeah, it's not like Europe here. Um, to give you an example, let's say if you, if I want to go from Burbank, um, to, Koreatown, it would take about, I don't know, one hour and a half to two hours. It just doesn't make sense. With car, you can drive it um, like in 20 minutes, 30 minutes. With traffic, about 40 minutes. It just doesn't make sense for us to use um, public transportation because it's a lot of effort. I mean, yes, it's a lot, lot cheaper, but just a lot of effort. You're wasting time to commute. My home. The one that you've been. <laughs> your yeah, home? Yeah. Home, yeah, sweet, yeah, home. home, home sweet, sweet home. Home sweet home. I can lay out and watch TV or whatever I do for fun. I like watching basketball, NBA, um, uh, watching series, movies, play video games sometimes, and talk to my girlfriend, talk to my family, read books. Exercise, yeah. 
and my next uh, beautiful place is work because work. that's where I can get the money and this guy right here pay the cheapest rent in LA Shut up, bro. <laughs> mm. my bad <laughs> no um honestly I like going to this um to the hills I like going to the mountains uh -huh. I go to a mountain called I call it my peace zone I haven't been there in a while but when you go there at night it's just you can see the city it's outlined and just stars I it's been a while since I've seen stars and I'm waiting to go to the desert in California like where the uh, there's no light and just see all the nice stars because that's what I, like I really like I'm, I'm more of an outdoor person I really don't like the city life like it's cool it's good to have a lot of things but when you can just get away from it and just go look at stars I think that's the best for me this one is a tough question LA is beautiful when I drive on 405 northbound um, close to exit I think Ventura Boulevard oh Encino it's Encino so it's just like you're going up to the hill like a hill and then you you, you go down the hill you can see the entire valley so it's really nice at, at night so I I drive to Mulholland Drive um, Mulholland Drive Mulholland Way I don't know um, because I live in Burbank so it's just like 10 minutes from, from my house so and then I just park there and then I can see the skyline of downtown LA so it's beautiful at night homelessness yep it's crazy in a few parts not all, all the places but if you go to downtown and uh, a lot of places yeah, you you will see a lot of homeless people and uh, you know you, you feel you feel sad about it because you never want to be in that position and just uh, you we cannot imagine we cannot imagine what those people are going through and I think government needs to be um, they are aware of that and we just need to come out with a plan and uh, yeah do better broski homelessness yes um honestly we already like touched on the yeah, subject yeah. like privately but I can tell um like how I see it is some people do get messed up and they met like they accidentally get in a financial dispute and they can't help that because their jobs got overrun then it just you can't help it but a lot of them are kind of tweakers or people on drugs and they put themselves in that predicament like yeah. you can say you can blame it on their family but the only one you can really blame is yourself true because everyone says that you blame you got to blame yourself before you blame others because you're the you're the one accountable for yourself and that's that's true with everything in life so i was like and they're my motivation every day not to go <laughs> not to <laughs> miss work I'm like when people ask me what my motivator is, it's homeless people, because <laughs> I don't want to be like that. I should start thinking it that uh, that way now. Because if you want to be motivated, don't look at your pe uh, at the famous people, because they already have what you don't have. Yeah. Look at what you have and what they don't have. You should be grateful. My God, Korean barbecue almost every two weeks. <laughs> I'm grateful. No one should live in on the street. Uh, with a tent, um, be cold and then hot. No one. It's a sensitive topic because of COVID. Everything, everything went down. I was thinking to put a video um, where the where you can see homeless people on the street, you know, with tents um, and everything. But I couldn't find it. I, I went, I drive, I drove around um, downtown LA, um, Van Nuys, um, Hollywood, Koreatown, those kind of area. It's just, I couldn't find it. It's a good thing. I guess the, I don't know, I guess the government did something to help them. I just, I just hope they, the government helped them, not kicked them out. I mean, if you, if you if you want to see it, Google it. LA is not always about the glamorous life of celebrities and everything. Yeah, it is not. 
So there's more to that, you know. You know why? Because people are people around the world go to LA just to um, have a chance to chase the the American dream. Like me, I'm fighting with everyone. It's it's competitive. So yeah, sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't, so just keep fighting. Bro, to be honest, I don't even know how to fight. Wait, we need, we need to wait. The plane. <laughs> A few moments later. Bro, I don't even know how the fuck I got here. To be honest, like it was just a dream. I wanted to become an actor. I want to uh, do film studies, and I just like went and do research. And it happens to be LA. It was either LA or New York. But I saw I saw New York Film Academy. And uh, I just fell in love with it. And I told my mom, hey, I'm going to this college. So what's next? But I didn't I didn't know about LA. I didn't know about bro I d I d I don't know, broski. I just got here, I don't know how. When I was a little kid I used to dream and I always I never had a plan B. I always had uh, my first plan. It was I'm going to do film studies. So you you and it's like I work with the universe, bro. And the universe gave it to me. Like I don't know how I'm here, bro. I'm not supposed to be here, but I'm here, and I'm glad. Thank you, God. I I did like a couple of plays. I was the main character, and I don't know, bro. I just fell in love with it since that moment, like seven years old. That was my decision. And also, I wanted to be uh, Tom Cruise because of Mission Impossible, bro. Tom like Cruise? I, yeah, I, w I, I used to get him uh, on my bike and think that he, I was on a motorcycle doing shit <laughs> like, like, like uh, what is it called? Like Stunt. A, a mission, yeah, Mission Sp Impossible. <laughs> and I also wanted to be Spider-Man, bro. But I don't think I'd look like it. Maybe if I shave, Latino, Latino Spider-Man, maybe. Right. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible nowadays. Yeah, especially, especially in Hollywood, nothing is impossible. That's true. I always tell people, why not move to LA? Why? But like, no, like that's I know, that's I know. My answer. But, I know, I know. But like, uh, honestly, I did it for personal reasons and like to get away from Michigan because I. You don't need to tell. Me. No, it's a. I'm not gonna say it, but like, yeah, it was just it was a dangerous I'll place for me. <laughs> You're good. It's a dangerous place. And I had to get away from I moved to LA because I went to acting school. I want to be an actor. Um, yeah. I just hope it works out. If it doesn't, then there's always another opportunity for me. And then um, I just had personal stuff, um, you know, with. Um, yeah, uh, I don't want to talk about it. No. <laughs> visit Italy. I mean, just, just to travel. To visit? Just, of yeah, to, yeah, to, to of visit. course. Yeah, yeah. In that, in that particular way, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, why not? So taking I mean, the side the, of the, the you but know. just saying, just saying, don't go to downtown. That's not the I know. True. That's the marketing, right? That's why we always see in the movies and shit like that and on TV. But that's not the main thing about LA. There's a lot of good places, better places than the downtown. Yeah. Not downtown. You, I always recommend to uh, visit, but uh, like if you have a if you you got to be making over like three hundred thousand dollars to live. S a good stable life here because if you live in one of these apartments making three hundred thousand, you're gonna have a good life. Yeah. But if you're trying to get a house, no way you're gonna you're gonna want to be here for like visitorial. But if you're just trying to stay here for five years, get a nice apartment for five years, have your car, and I would say live. But I'm not gonna be here for a long time. I want to move out by three, four years, just because I'm young. I want to experience the LA 
things, then I want to move back to Michigan maybe or go to like a country like, you know, Colorado by myself or maybe North Dakota because they have a good uh, horse population. So I can do horses there. Oh, absolutely. You should visit L.A. at least once in your lifetime um, because L.A. is beautiful with the palm trees, with the sun. It is always um, sunny here in L.A. The diverse food. The diverse culture. You will get a lot of surprise if you go there. <laughs> oh, yeah. You say, oh, okay, I thought it was something else. Yeah. But yeah, it's just surprising. Yeah. By the way, that was the last question. Um, thank you for doing this with me. Um, and cut. No, I'm just my, do you want to say anything to the... Uh, viewers please subscribe <laughs> subscribe let's make this guy famous he deserves it not famous like, but at least like you know support my guy please support thank you click where is it here here like comment share <laughs> I don't even do that <laughs> I don't fucking care bro I'm doing it for you I think that's it for me guys so um, just wait for the next next video about the what places you should visit in LA and um, okay and then thank you guys for watching and bye oh god <laughs> <So weird. laughs> what's up broski this is the first time I'm doing my vlog with uh, another person really? yeah it's just let's do it baby Okay, let's do it. Alrighty. Hey guys, welcome to my... <laughs> <laughs> you should do all this like as a blooper, bro. I know. Yeah. Okay, let's start. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm Mika and here I we have Adrian. He's one of my first very first friend when I was here in LA. Um, sorry. What? I'm gonna restart it. Bro, you were good, bro. You were doing good. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready.